Hey guys, welcome back to the Carbon Connection and of course another video. So today we are going to show you how to access a hidden menu in BMW's cluster or system, um, specifically in the F series. Sorry about the poor lighting. I'm in the parking lot and uh, yeah, it's a bit of a cloudy day. So in today's video, I'm going to focus on how to access your water or coolant temperature via the hidden menu. Uh, we're going to be doing this on our F33 series, but it should work the same way across the board for all, all other F series cars. To access the menu, the car can't be running. So what we're going to do is press the start button just once. And then we're going to hold in the mileage reset button over here. You need to hold it in for about 10 to 15 seconds until it gives you access to the hidden menu. Remember to hold down the reset button almost immediately after you've pressed the start button and then only will it give you the main menu or rather the hidden menu. If you wait too long, holding down the button will do nothing. The other way to access the hidden menu is by quick pressing the reset button immediately after you've pressed the start button. So this has to be really quick. It's quite difficult to get right every time. If you do get it right, you will immediately see the main menu pop up at the beginning. Um, obviously, if your car is going to be displaying service that might be due, you might need to just leave the reset button, leave everything until the main menu appears again. So now that we've got an access to the hidden menu, you can use your reset button to scroll through the different options. So short press will sc scroll through the different options, just like I've done here, and obviously coming back to the top of the menu. If you want to select any of the options, you need to do a long press. So I've scrolled to system test. I'm now going to hold in the reset button asking do you want to start system test a short press would start the test to exit this menu you'll keep the reset button pressed again this takes you back to your main menu We're now going to get into how to access the hidden menu within this main menu, which will enable us to check our coolant or water temperature. So we're going to go through to unlock, and then we're going to long press, and then it's going to ask for a code. So the code that you'd use here is the last five digits of your VIN number added up. So that is the sum of the last five digits in your VIN number. You can locate your VIN number on the bottom of your windshield. As you can see, this is where mine is, and it should be pretty much the same for all other BMWs. Um, not too sure if the older models had this as well, um, but E-Series onwards, I'm pretty sure all of them do. So remember, like I said, you'd need to add up the last five digits of your VIN number. You will then use this as your unlock code, which is required in your hidden menu. So for my car, the last five digits of my VIN number added up is the number 32. So short presses enables you to scroll through the different numbers. I'm going to scroll through all the way till number 32. So now that I've reached number 32, I'm going to long press. Now you'll see we have more options unlocked, such as consumption, range, tank, which refers to the amount of fuel in your tank, temperature, not too sure what that is, it's your speed or your rev counter, system voltage, acoustics, error codes, dimming your LCD, dimming the PWM, not too sure what PWM is, CBS, check, correction factor, software reset. So it gives you access to a whole lot of new options on your main menu. 
so we're going to scroll down back to temperature remember long press to access it and that gives us our oil temperature our oil temperature raw data our coolant temperature and obviously I haven't started the car today so that's really really low and if we press it again it scrolls further down and back to where we started so as you can see there's a lot of different data that you can access via this main menu or other hidden menu and in today's example specifically for our coolant temperature now that you've got an access to your coolant temperature as well as your actual oil temperature but of course we do have a gauge for the oil temperature um, so the main thing that obviously is added here is the coolant temperature if you start the car those gauges will stay there but of course if you switch it off completely and lock the car um, those gauges will disappear and you'd have to follow the process once again to actually accessing the hidden menu to exit we're gonna long press and then you're back in the main menu you're gonna scroll all the way down I know there are a lot of other different options what I'll do is I'll create a separate video um, for anything else that you guys might want to see drop a comment down below um, if you guys want to see how any of the other options look so we'll scroll down to test end long press short press to confirm and you back to your normal digital dash and that sums up how to access the hidden menu on a BMW F-Series car. It's a very similar process on the E-Series cars. Uh, once I've got the 335 back, I'll do a separate video on that. Thanks so much for tuning in. As always, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Um, our channel is really growing at a healthy pace. We are very, very close to, to the 1,000 subscriber mark. I'm super excited. I'm hoping we could get there within the next month or so. Um, but as always, I really do appreciate you guys taking the time to watch our videos and uh, yeah, we'll see you in the next one.